Okay, this is the video on Wheatstone Bridge, part three. Now here we're gonna solve for Rx, and I rewrote the circuit. It looks a little bit different than the previous one. So here I have Rx right here. We don't know what that is. We have the current in branch A. This is branch A, and it's flowing this way. Here you have an ammeter. Uh, here you have R1, which is 12 ohms. You have current B flowing in this branch, and you have R2, which is 108 ohms. RS, which is 36 ohms. Uh, here, what you should know is that the current flowing through here is balanced, so there's no current flowing through the, am the, the current meter, or the ammeter. So, let's get on and solve this one. So here, I rewrote the circuits uh, so it looks a little bit more familiar. Um, yeah, let's just get started in solving it. So, first things I'm going to do is I'm going to say that the voltage on, on Rx is, is divided by the voltage on RS and we're going to set that equal to the voltage in R1 which is divided by the voltage in R2 so once we have it like this we're going to rewrite this uh, we're going to add in uh, the currents and the resistors so the voltage uh, on RX is going to be equal to the current in branch A multiplied by RX divided by the current in branch A multiplied by RS that's going to be equal to the voltage in R1, which is the current in branch B multiplied by R1, divided by the current in branch B multiplied by R2. So as we noticed before, the currents uh, cancel out in both of these. So that can be rewritten as Rx is divided by Rs is equal to R1 divided by R2. And so since we're solving for Rx, we're just going to throw the Rs over to the other side. So that's going to be that's going to look like this. Rx is equal to Rs multiplied by R1 divided by R2. Now, uh, let's see. Rs is equal to 36 ohms. R1 is equal to 12 ohms. And R2 is equal to 108 ohms, and then we're going to divide that out. So now let's see, uh, 12 goes into 12 once, so I'm going to replace that with the 1. 12 goes into 108 nine times. So if I rewrite that so it looks a little bit neater, I'm going to have 36 times 1 divided by 9. That is equal to Rx. So Rx is going to be equal to 4 ohms. And that's how you solve that one. So this resistance right here is going to be equal to 4 ohms. So, yeah, that's how you solve these problems. So I uh, hope that helped you out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, good luck in your classes.